morning you guys i hope you're all having a great day so far um this is like a weird angle right now but the lighting in my house is kind of off i'm in my bedroom and i feel like i'm glowing right now but i uh, thank you guys for stopping by and hang out with me today um i'm gonna try to film a weekend in our life i don't know i've never filmed on the weekend since i started um like vlogging but I thought it might be fun because right now David's working, but he should be home around 12. My mom and um, my stepdad are coming into town, or her boyfriend, are coming into town um, today. We're going to get some steamed crabs. And then we might also go to like this hot air balloon festival that is local to us. I've never been to it. I think they have it every year, but it's not really advertised too much, I feel like, because I never like remember when it is but it is this weekend oh that sun is bright is that better all right sorry about the lighting that sun got really bright all of a sudden um but i've gotten everybody ready today already i need to run to the dump um i also wanted to make some buffalo chicken dip but i don't think i have all of the stuff for it um but we'll see so i don't know how well this is going to go vlogging on the weekends because I kind of still get nervous around other people. Um, even my husband, like, I get nervous around him. I'm a little sweaty. Um, but if you're seeing this, then it went well. But thank you guys for hanging out. Give this video a thumbs up and also um, subscribe if you're new around here. I would love to have you join my little YouTube fam. Upload two videos every week. It's every Monday and Thursday at 10.30. Um, Eastern Standard Time. I upload a lot of day in the lives, um, grocery hauls, just all the mom life, homemaking, housekeeping content. Um, so if you like that kind of stuff, then this is definitely the channel for you. Um, but let's get in to the video. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. I would be on the weekend because my mom is here but my mom and her boyfriend and Dalton just left to go get crabs Hunter's sleeping David's in the shower because he just got home from work and then Brayden's in his room I am setting up for crabs let me know down in the comments if you guys eat steamed crabs I know it's like a Maryland thing so I'm curious to know how many of you guys have had steamed crabs and love them it's like one of our favorite things in the summertime just reminds me of my childhood i think but i am melting some butter for the boys and then vinegar and j-o for me and oh. i hate you for, he's such an ass for me and david anticipation for the crabs to get back here and i'll show you the crabs when they get here
walking past? I'm not, I'm not the one. Yeah. I 
Um, well, I guess it's still morning. It's 11 11 right now um, The house is pretty quiet. Hunty is down for his nap. Brayden is watching TV Dalton and David are at, at my in-laws house doing his oil change and stuff My mom and Donald have already left today and Emma is at work right now. She's at her dad's but I think she's at work right now um I don't really know how this weekend walk is going. Um, I guess I won't really know until I edit it, but I did take you guys along with me through some of our day yesterday and then this morning. Oh, could you believe underneath in my refrigerator? Like, that was disgusting. So I had dropped um, a thing of cocoa powder and I was getting something out of the spice cabinet and it spilled all down the side of the um, fridge. So I had my husband pull it out so I could clean it up, but there was so, it was gross under there. So I'm glad I got that cleaned up. I should probably do my stove too, cause I'm sure that's nasty as well. Um, but I do still need to bag up the rest of the waffles that I made. Cause I made extra on purpose so that I could freeze some. Cause you can use them just like Eggos, like freeze them and then pop them in the toaster and they're good for a quick breakfast. So especially with school coming up, I wanted to have and while I was already making them for us, so I decided I would just make some extra to put into the freezer. Um, and, oh, and I also made um, that homemade pancake mix that you saw. I'll put the link down in the description box, but um, I split the recipe in half because it calls for like six cups of flour, so I only did three. Um, and I mixed it in with the rest of like the protein pancake mix that I had. And it was good it was really good so definitely give it a shot it's so easy to make like i had everything i needed so i mean i should just make a big batch of that and have pancake mix instead of actually like buying it at the store um i usually like to use milk and an egg in my pancake mix but we were out of eggs so i just used milk and some vanilla just to give it a little bit of flavor or cinnamon sometimes i put cinnamon in it as well um but i hope you guys enjoyed spending a weekend ish with us we ended up not going to the um, balloon festival the hot air balloon festival because we realized that you had to buy tickets for it and it was $25 a person to get in and then there was like food trucks and vendors and um, like blow up things for the kids to play on that all cost extra money and I just didn't think it was worth that I mean if it was like a free event where like you pay for your food and all the stuff that you do like that's fine but I didn't want to pay that much money to get in like it would have been $135 for like our family of six just to get in there and then actually 140 because I think Hunter would have I think we would have had to pay for Hunter too because it was five dollars for a kid and $25 for each adult over the age of 15 so Emma would have had to pay 25 me and David that's just too much money especially when like when we go to events we like to try the food like we are definitely like a family that enjoys to um eat different foods at like food trucks and stuff like that so we definitely would have spent a lot of money with the vendors i just didn't feel like it was worth it to go so we ended up going to that little um sweet spot it just opened up downtown in the town that we live in so there's not not like any like 
signed or anything up really um, and it's still just opening up um, but we wanted to go and support our local businesses in the area and check out what they had they had snow cones um, candy apples nachos um, cotton candy um, and we got some of everything and it was very very good um, but yeah and then, oh, we also let our turtles go that you guys saw um, and nobody come for me okay we've had these turtles for a year now and they're still really tiny because of the cage that we had them in and we don't have room for a bigger cage so we took them back from where we got them from like please don't come for me like I know like I know but we let them go back where we got them from and I hope that they thrive um, and we will not be getting any more turtles in our house because I just I don't know I wish we could have kept them and they would have grown and thrived with us but they just weren't so we decided to let them go and hopefully they will thrive in the wild um, but yeah, what else did we do I don't know I guess you guys saw what we did but I hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me I'm about to self tan where is it well I already put makeup on and forgetting that I wanted to self tan today um, so usually when I self tan during the day I'll put it you know, all over and not put makeup on or put like a little bit of makeup on so I don't look crazy um, because I feel like when I put the tanner on like it obviously it makes you really dark at first um, but this is the tan that I use it's B tan and it's the I want to I want the darkest tan possible and it definitely does give you a dark tan so I'll usually put it on in the morning like around this time and then before I go to bed I'll get in the shower and wash it off and then I'm tan and I usually don't have any streaks or I mean occasionally I'll miss the spot but that's user error and nothing to do with the actual tanner itself um, and it lasts for I want to say about a week like um, I'm pretty pale now and I think the last time I used it was last Saturday right before Brayden's birthday party so it's been about a week so it has definitely washed off but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again on my legs I'm just gonna do my legs my arms and like my shoulders and neck um, cause be, to be completely honest, I don't do my back <laughs> or my stomach because nobody sees those areas except for my husband and he doesn't really care. Like even when I wear a bathing suit, like my stomach is covered and my back for the most part is covered. Um, so I don't want to waste the tan on areas that like don't really matter. So I'm going to do my legs and my arms, my chest, up my neck. And I guess I'll, maybe I'll just do my face tonight before like after I rinse this off and I get out of the shower, I'll do put it on my face and wash it off in the morning. Um, but I use this mitt to apply it on like my whole body. And then I use this little makeup brush for my face and my fingers and my toes because that is the only area that I have a lot of problem with making sure I get um, the right coverage and it doesn't like, it's not too much. You know what I mean? Because sometimes your fingers can look kind of orangey. And I don't want it to look bad. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this weekend. And um, subscribe if you're new. Because that really helps out my channel. I would love to have you stick around. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I upload two videos every single week. Um, and it's mom motivation, mom life, homemaking, housekeeping content. Um, all about my life as a stay-at-home mom. Um, pause. Okay, I'm back. I've been so congested for like, I feel like two weeks at this point and it's just not going away. So I had to blow my nose a little bit. But um, give this video a like and comment down below. And let me know if you liked the weekend vlog and maybe I can do them more often. I mean, it's nothing super exciting. We don't do a bunch of fancy stuff on the weekends. Like we're just a normal family that lives in a small town and does small town things. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.